Tracy from Grizzly Knits and welcome to my knitting podcast. I'm coming to you from Toronto, Canada, where I live with my three children, ages 24, 22, and 16, and our two dogs and my husband. And lots of yarn, and lots of knitting. Um, thank you for coming back. I had some really good feedback on last week's episode, so thank you so much for that. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. I have committed to uh, podcasting every Monday in July to kind of catch up and catch you up on what I've been doing, and I'm really excited. So let's get started. Um, the first thing I want to show you, it's kind of hard to see in the, I'm noticing in the camera, so I'm going to just stand up. So I did finish my Simple Summer Tank by Caitlin Barhold, and I talked about it last week. I did have some trouble last week. I was, I won't go into it a lot, but go back to the, um, to my last week's podcast. Um, it was too big and too small and lots of problems in between. And I didn't want to give up because that's my trying to be my new policy, not just giving up so quickly with patterns, but, um, so I did do it and to be honest, I don't love it. Um, let me stand up again, just so you can see what I mean. So I did the rib in a DK, which is what she asked for, in the needle size that she also recommended. And I still find it too big. So you can see that it's like really, it could really be like that. And there's a lot of room. Um, and then for the yarn, I actually, the yarn I was using wasn't working out at all. So I, at the end of the podcast, I showed you some yarn and I didn't really know what to do with. It's the Echo Harmony Worsted and in the same color and it's cotton i i don't think it's all cotton no it's wool cotton it's very soft um it's a it's a really nice cotton so i thought you know what i'm going to try it with this and go down a needle size from what she recommended so it's okay i mean i don't love it um the armholes are too big and i did have to play around with that because I kept thinking it was going to be too small and I don't know I just had a lot of problems with it. I I think I will wear it like just like this like with a cardigan um over it but I wouldn't wear it just on its own but I do like the colors I chose so yeah you see like I'm pulling at it a little bit it's not my favorite thing that I've made but you know what we I wanted to share everything with you the good and the bad not that it's bad but it's not that good Okay, let's move on to better things. So, oh, and, and like I'm not, I'm not like saying the pattern isn't good. It's probably like just, I didn't have the right yarn. So I was kind of like makeshifting what I wanted. So, but it is a really simple pattern and the construction of the, the top is really, really fun. I mean, I would probably would go back to the pattern, but you know, whole different, with a whole different set of eyes. Okay, what should I show you next? Okay, finished objects that I finished this week. We have this uh, my scrappy striped socks and the recipe is, I, I followed the crazy sock lady and it's on her Ravelry page. So you just, um, you know, do your normal, well, I do, down construction, do my cuff. I do 56 stitches. And then I did, um, I think I did eight rows, eight, eight rows per stripe, my regular heel flap and gusset. And then I did this to four and a half, the foot to four and a half inches. And then I striped in and I did half the number of stripes. So I think I did like four, four um, rounds. Or maybe it was, no, you know what? It was six rounds and then I did three rounds. That's it. And then I did a rounded toe. Really happy how they came out. Love everything. Love the yarn. The main yarn is Sweet Sparrow. And um, these are just scraps from a, um, a swap 
from row one and then from, forget what, from something. Anyway, lots of fun. I'll totally do this again. So this is my sec, gonna be my second pair for um, Summer Sock Camp 2023. And I'm doing better than last year. <laughs> I think last year I had one pair. So now I'm at two pairs and it's July, so that's good. Yeah. And uh, so I finished those. I don't think I have anything more to say about them. What else did I finish? Oh, I finished the little baby jacket that I showed you last week. Here it is. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's not even attached. There we go. So let me just find the pattern again in case you're interested. I talked about the pattern last week. What I'm looking at, by the way, is just a little book that I'm keeping all my patterns in and I'm trying to make it really pretty. Let me just show, go back, to, we're just going to go back to the scrappy socks. So I'm just getting a picture and some of the yarn and then putting like what I did just to have a little bit more of a kind of a pretty journal about my knitting. Okay, this is called the Babbity Baby Jacket. Oops. And it's in three month size. And it's by Mary Ann as Lazy Daisy Designs. I'll write everything I talk about underneath so that you can click on it and go see um, the patterns for yourself. So I casted this on June 25th and I finished it, what was Saturday? I don't know, July 7th, I think it was 7th, 8th. Yeah, I think it was the 8th. So I finished it on Saturday. So it didn't take me too long. I did some modifications. Um, I did the sleeves in the round instead of flat. And was that it? I don't I talked about this last week. It might have been the only one. Why do I feel like there was another modification? Okay, anyway. The yarn, I have a little bit left which I might try to incorporate into some type of little hat to go with it, is the Driftwood DK by James C. Brett. So, I mean, you get a lot for your money. Like, it's a really nice yarn. It's so soft, really nice and soft. Oh, and then these little buttons I found in my um, jar. Aren't they cute? They're little wooden hearts. I get all my buttons off Etsy. They have great buttons for really good prices. So I just get them when I see them, if they're cute, and then I have them when I when I need them. Don't know who this is going to, someone in the future. All right, let me just take a little sip. Okay, so those are, the, yeah. So these are the three things that I finished this week. Now we're gonna go back in time to two things that I had finished um, previously. So let me just, okay, we'll start with socks. I finished these socks in June. I won't bother putting them on the blocker. Here they are. And they are called the Let's Stay Home Socks by Nancy Wheeler. And they have, it's hard to see, but they actually have the cutest little um, cable pattern. So I did have to use a cable needle, but they were so much fun. The yarn, uh oh, oh yeah, I don't know the yarn, that's right. The yarn is from Stash. I must have, it must have been pre-podcasting days and I didn't keep good notes back then or anything so I don't know what kind of yarn it is but it's so pretty I'm just like it's got all these browns in it and a little bit of grays and then I just used a contrasting kind of like a almost like a brownie plum color if there's such a thing um and then I did a little pop of color I love everything about them they're really great socks they feel like they're going to be warm too um yeah so the let's stay home socks great pattern. I also, not just a great pattern, she's a great pattern writer for socks. She does something a little bit different. This was a paid for pattern, so I don't want to go on too much. Was it a paid for pattern? Oh, 
it might not have been actually or or maybe she has one that is not i don't know you have to check her out though she has a lot of great patterns she does something different for her heel flap and gusset and i loved it like it was really clever and i would totally do that again okay so the, this was my first entry in june to the summer sock camp okay so my second thing i wanted to show you let me find it i finished my i don't even know if i ever no i didn't start it with you if that makes sense so i started this on may 14th and i finished it on june 10th and it is the painted pebble shawl i'll show you it's a little hard because it, it's very long i'll show you first and then we can talk about the pattern okay so this pattern is by patty of the forest forest city knit girls who I've talked about before, who I really love watching and I get very influenced by what they make. And Patty wrote this pattern specifically for slub yarn and fingering. So let me show you what I mean by slub yarn if you've never worked with slub yarn. So my slub yarn is, called, is from Full Moon Fibers and this is how much I have left, so not a lot. And the color is Tide Pools of Your Life on their moon rock slub so what slub is is it's kind of like crinkly and then all of a sudden you have like almost like a a knot of yarn and you just you just knit it you don't worry about where the knots are going and it makes such beautiful texture as you can see I paired it with, this is from Sorella Yarns that I did a mystery pack, like, oh my goodness, probably 2020. And this minty color came with it and it just looked really pretty with the slub. This is, this was amazing. Honestly, this was, it's such a great pattern. It's so much fun. Um, you don't get bored at all. It has little eyelets. It has like, it's that perfect pattern where it's interest, but yet you're not, you can watch TV. Like it's, it doesn't like take all your brain power away. <laughs> Some patterns do, at least mine. And here, let me just put this on so you can see. It's an interesting shape. Um, I, I think it's going to be fun to wear especially in the fall with like a little jean jacket or sweater i mean you can wear it many ways this is just a quick way yeah so i loved it um what else do i have to say about it not much oh it was my mother's day cast on that's nice <laughs> okay so that's those are the two things that i finished um in the past and the things I finished this week. Okay, now we're gonna move on to, oh yes, I wanna share with you, where is it? Okay, I wanna share with you two blankets I'm working on. One is an older blanket you've probably seen before and one is brand new and I wanna talk about that. So these are long-term projects. So there's no, end in sight <laughs> okay this is wow i'm in the middle of a row but that's okay this is my granny striped crochet blanket that is coming along so it's really quite big and it is just plain old granny stripes and what I'm doing is, you know what, I'm gonna mark it where I show you so we can see my progress from today on. There we go, so it's right here, and we can see where how much I can get done. But like I said, it's not a rush. I mean, there's been weeks I don't touch it, but it's just so nice to have. And I'm not worrying about colors, which is not like me. So 
I'm just putting in scraps in any old way and for some reason it just, it works. So I keep it in this basket and I have a bunch of scraps kind of ongoing and then I kind of change them out. There's really no rhyme or reason to anything and it just looks pretty. I keep it on my desk and it looks pretty and it's when it's done, it's done. So that is one thing um, I started. And then this is new. I want to show you this. Okay. So this is a little basket I bought myself when I went to St. Lucia to visit my son in February. It's so cute. Oh, okay. Um, I really, I have tried in the past the cozy memory blanket. I'm sure you know it, and I'm sure probably some of you uh, have done one or, or you're working on one. And I've never liked how mine looked. I found it looking messy, where you have to join your squares. And then I came across the Crazy Sock Lady again, and hers looked great, and she said she has a special technique that is on her Ravelry page that neatens everything up. And I thought, should I give that a try one more time? Well, I did. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is mine so far. And again, I, I am, I have no date when this is going to be finished. It is not a memory blanket. Um, it is just colors I like. So it's scraps I like. Now I want to show you what I mean about if you, and it's probably, mine is probably not even as neat as others, but you can see where you have to pick up. It's so much better than it was for me. Like, and then on this side, you like, it's really neat. Like you can't see anything. So I was quite happy with that. And honestly, like it's um, what you do with the first stitch and the last stitch, and that's it. So you're just changing from the original pattern. Oh, I didn't, did I say what the pattern was? Sorry, the Cozy Memory Blanket by Kemper Ray. Um, yeah, you just change the first stitch and the last stitch from the original pattern and it makes life easier. So I'm enjoying this. And again, I keep it on my desk and I pick it up and some weeks I don't pick it up and some weeks I pick it up a lot. Like it just kind of, it's just with me. So those are the two blankets that um, are ongoing. And I did start something last week that's more of a memory blanket. And I will show you that next week because I really just started it. Like there's not a lot to show. Okay, let me just have some more water. It's very dry in here today. I don't know why. Okay, and what else do I have to show you? Um, okay, before I show you what I've been working on this weekend, which is actually not even a lot because I was kind of focused on finishing these socks for, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But I wanted to just... Uh, well, it kind of all wraps together. So yesterday, uh, Nitty Natty's Sock Week 2023 started. And what that is, is that you make a pair, I think it's a pair, I'm gonna say a pair, of socks in one week. And um, I didn't do it last year because I'm such a slow sock knitter, like one week, like I can't do that. I have become much quicker this year, which is nice. Um, so that started yesterday. And I i can't remember if I said last week, but um, I sell uh, knitting notions. So stitch markers and um, progress keepers. And I was a sponsor for Knitting Natty this year. And I, you know what, I'll put a picture up 
because I I don't have any because I sold out, which yay. But I will put a picture up and um, it uh, this I designed for Sock Week. So not only that, but Nitty Natty has lots of free like YouTube kind of get togethers this week for for knitting your socks. But she also had a paid for package with kind of special events. And this Thursday is a special event of a celebrity knitting family feud and um, sock edition. And I'm one of the people. So I'm really excited about that. A little bit nervous, but so if you um, bought her special package, I hope I see you there on Thursday night. But if not, there's lots of activities and things to do. So I have challenged myself to be involved this year and knit a pair of socks in a week. Um, she has on her channel and on her Instagram, like a little guide you could follow just to make sure you're kind of keeping on track, which was really helpful. And I wanted to finish these socks so I could have my needles cleared. So this is what I'm thinking. Because I'm such a slow knitter, um, I'm gonna do shorties. And I love shorties and I don't have that many. And I'm gonna do a scrappy pair because for me, scrappy, I always knit faster. I think, I think most people do for some reason. You just, you just knit faster, like, cause you wanna see the next stripe and you wanna add in the next color and there's just so much excitement going on. So la yesterday was cast on um, in cuffs. So I did manage to get those done it looks like a bit of a chaotic mess here, but okay. So here they are. And I think I'm going to do five rows of my color and then go into my heel, which for me slows me down. Like that heel takes days. So I'll have to keep an eye on the date so that I don't turn around and I'm still on my heel and it's Thursday. But this is all for fun. I mean, I'm saying it like it's do or die, but it's just for fun. So the colors that I think for, I picked up some scraps out of my yarn bin that I think go together. I really like this gray. I think I'm gonna do this for the heels. This green is so pretty. I don't even, this was a row one. I don't really have, I can't really see who did it, but oh, it's so pretty with gray. Um, this little scrap, I thought was pretty. This is just a mini, but I thought it kind of blended. So I think, I mean, I, and if this isn't enough, I, I'll have, I have more, I have more. Anyway, that is lots of fun. So that is what I am going to be working on every day, hopefully staying on track. And, um, what else did I want to tell you? I also really want to cast on a cardigan this week. I tried yesterday, um, was it yesterday or Saturday? And I, I, it wasn't, it didn't, it wasn't happening. I, I couldn't get the pattern, um, not the pattern's fault. I just, I made a mistake right off the bat. And you know that sends you into a tizzy. And then um, I don't think this yarn is right for this pattern. So I pull, I have about four or five cardigan patterns. And um, so now I just have to kind of see what's right. I, I was, I really wanted to get it done this morning so I could show you, but I felt like I was rushing. So I was like, no, you know what? Um, I'm gonna slow down and then I can cast on and hopefully to have something substantial to show you for the cardigan for next week. And yeah, so I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna work on my socks and I'm gonna to try to get more on my new memory blanket so that I can talk about it and show you next week. Okay, I think that's about it. 
Um, I hope everyone is doing well and enjoying their summer. It seems like it's flying by. That's everyone I speak to said like they can't believe it is, what is it? July 10th already. Like it's crazy, but yeah, I hope you're getting some knitting time or crocheting time and just, you know, enjoying every day and the sunshine that comes with it. All right. Thank you for joining me and I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.